Hello beautiful family, hello everyone, welcome back to the Lovely Star channel. I do hope you're doing well and I do hope you're taking good care of yourself. Today's video is such an exciting one. Family, today I will be sharing with you all that you need to know about how to remove the stubborn greasy stains from the bottom of your pot. And family, it is so so easy that it is going to literally blow your mind away. So stay tuned and let's polish that stubborn stains away and let's keep our pot brand new. <laughs> So all that you need for this is your baking powder as we all know it's very easy to get right and your vinegar this is the strong vinegar okay here in Sweden it's called Ethica but you don't even need it it's very optional I'll explain why okay and your bottle your wire sponge and yes you will need your gloves because it is really very important to protect your pretty hands start off by making a paste out of my baking soda and the vinegar such a simple mixture by blending your baking powder and your vinegar together in your bottle stain that i'm going to remove i have a very light stain and a medium one and a very heavy heavy stain which i intentionally saved for this video very important to prep all that you need for this before you start off okay so once you blend your baking powder and the vinegar together it starts to form some bubbles and it's very good ready for action as you are forming your mixture please do not also forget to boil some hot water because we will need it as well you just go ahead to shake the bottle so that everything blend well and mix well together i am starting off with a light stain with a light stain all that you need is your hot water you just pour your hot water at the bottom of your pan like so and with this you don't even need any form of vinegar at all all that you need is your baking powder you take about two tablespoons of it and then put a little bit of warm water and allow it to rest for five minutes and then you begin to scrub with your wire sponge you have to be very very hard on it you do not have to be gentle at all put some energy in there and scrub it as hard as you can and please note that you do not have to use any form of cold water just use warm water in this as it enhances the effectiveness of your scrubbing process and this is the first coat and right from the first coat you will notice that you are losing lots and lots of that stain already so after my first coat i rinse it off and repeat the process again i'm going to do it three times her time i was absolutely pleased with the outcome so once that is done i just wash it off properly with a dishwashing soap
finally after a good 15 minutes of hard scrubbing my stains were gone and they were looking brand new again i was so so pleased with it i want it very well polished so i go in with my dishwashing soap and sponge and clean it all up and then dry it up with my towel paper yes looks brand new and i'm so so happy with that yes right now let's just see the before and the after videos the difference is spot on so clear so yes let's go to the very difficult difficult stains of them all and i intentionally saved this for this video so do not judge me <laughs> this time around i fill my sink with hot water and add about three teaspoons of baking soda in it i will allow the stains to rest in it for two minutes and then go in again with um two tablespoons of baking powder and then allow it to rest for a whole five minutes before i start to scrub but the remaining one is very tough this is where the help of the vinegar and the baking powder paste come into play well, this is the reason why i said from the beginning that you do not need your vinegar if you do not have don't worry about it you can still go ahead to add your baking powder and scrub it and scrub it till everything is gone vinegar in this case helps remove the stain faster if you do not have it you might end up spending 10 to 20 minutes more i do assure you that the results is the same same results you're going to get so do not worry if you don't have any form of vinegar at home usual let's polish it up with our dishwashing soap and our sponge wait if you were in ghana you use silver shine you shine it up <laughs> you don't even need it in this case everything is looking so shiny shine shine bubble pots and now the feeling of cooking in a brand new pot comes back right after this it is so so amazingly important to keep our pot clean look to tell you that this pot that i have none of them is less than a year and if they are still brand new like this it is just because i always have my hands on them and with this i do not think about buying new pot every single year you have it family these are the results and you can see for yourself this gave a new life to my old old pot and i hope you do the same i don't know about you but anytime i see fresh looking pot it motivates me to cook so maybe this is going to be a motivation for you to get cooking who knows make sure you try it now if you have similar problems at home If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Lovia from Lovey Starch and I'm here to inspire you to get cooking. So I bring you lots of good and yummy recipes on here and everything kitchen related motivational videos. So please consider subscribing and join the family. Then thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!